this grouping here is for our cutter box, right? So our front mold board up and down, our left side plate up and down, our right side plate up and down, and our rear mold board up and down. You notice if I double tap it, that light will stay green up here, and that means that that function is locked on all of these, right? If I double tap it, it'll stay green. So now that's locked, okay? So again, we talked about functionality. This one here controls our cutter, our rotor, right? So again, we have a three-speed rotor, one, two, and three, based on this button here. So that, that means it'll cut in the second position. This is the third, right? All that means is how fast the rotor spins. On the lowest one, it's 100 RPMs. Your engine's at 1600. We go to the second one, it's 1750 and 109. And then we go to the top and it's 118 based on 1900 RPM. This turns that rotor on and off. Just press and hold this button. This light will then turn green and then turns on the rotor. This is our pause resume switch. So very, very handy. Uh, one touch operation for the operator just by pressing and holding this button that will turn green. The machine stops, the conveyor stops, the water stops, everything stops, the truck goes out of the way. I simply press this button again when a new truck comes and it, all those functions return back on, right? The machine revs up, the conveyor comes on and we go right back to the same propel speed we were before. This one is just our uh, truck signaling devices. It'll turn those lights on the, on the back of those mirrors red or green and we can flash them. Uh, we can do all kinds of different things as an alternative method to communicate to our truck driver.